here we go. And now Griffin is up front. Six laps to go. We're halfway through. And now it's nearly a second advantage for Griffin. She's doing good. She can now see the Russian. Huge advantage for Griffin. Easy victory for Mia Griffin, who now takes the bronze medal. Not a perfect start for the Irish athlete. Murphy is uh, nearly two seconds behind and now she tries to recover. 1.2. Murphy is getting closer and closer. It's 0.3 with just 1k to go. On 2k mark they show the equal time. So the last lap. And it's going to be Murphy who takes the title. And here we go. 200 laps, 50 kilometers for men's medicine. So we have intermediate sprints, additional points for lapping your opponents, and we have final sprint, of course. And it's an attack from Team Russia. That seems to be a good move. And it seems like they're going to gain this lap. So Team Russia now finishes the job. They gain this lap. Plus 20 points for Team Russia. And it's less than 60 laps to go. Team Portugal attacks once again. So Team Portugal gains an extra lap, an extra 20 points, and now they are in the lead. We have an incredible battle for the first place. And Team Portugal is getting away. It's only one lap to go. You can hear the bell. Team Russia on their wheel. That's going to be very close. He tries to overtake him on the last lap. It's shoulder to shoulder. And it's Team Russia who wins it. Good first lap. 19.091, amazing start. And I think that she's even better on the second lap. Incredible result. And here we go, Marta Bayona Pineda. That's a good start, 19.414. But it's a bit slower than Antonova's one. And at the finish, he has the fastest time of 33.806, with the average speed above 33 kilometers per hour. And the only one who can beat Bayona Pineda right now is Alina Lysenko from Russia. It's all about the second lap. She had some troubles during her start, but now she's doing okay. 19.348, the second best start behind Antonova. And Lysenka loses. That was very close. So here we go. It's one more lap behind the Dorney rider. And here we go. Man's carrying final. Tom Derush goes up front. It's Vasilius Lendl on his wheel. Yusso Yusso is somewhere close. It's going to be very close. Shoulder to shoulder. Two Germans in the middle right now. Bad position for Ehlers. They're going for last lap right now. Ehlers, it's very close. Wow, what was that? And Tom Derage wins it, while Vasilius Landel is second. So here we can see the most strange moment. Here we are. Wow. Akim Ehlers found himself in a very dangerous situation. 
So we are ready to start four disciplines and here we go. And the attack. We have the first one. Uh, I can see the Ukrainian Viktoria Yeroshenka at front. Four laps to go, just one kilometer. Is it going to be Yeroshenka? They're getting closer, they're going to catch her. It's a pity for Yeroshenka, but who is going to win it all? It's Martins at the front. Balisaite tries to overtake her in the sprint. And she does, it's Balisaite who wins it. And here we go. So it's the first attack. Again by Victoria Yaroshenko, followed by Austrian Verena Eberhardt. And they're going to compete for the first intermediate sprint. The maximum points go to Verena Eberhardt. She moves forward, uh, doesn't want to catch the group too early. She wants to gain the maximum points possible here. So she wants to catch this group after this lap. So she catches them right now. So it's 27 points for Eberhardt and 23 points for Yaroshenka. And now it's Gillespie at the front. Only two laps remaining for Gillespie to gain this lap. And they decide to give 20 points. She will be second behind uh, Verena Eberhardt, who wins this competition. So here we go. And a dangerous situation for Oksana Salaviva. Olivia Bolisaita is the one who is eliminated. She was one of the favorites and now she is eliminated. And we have only three riders left. It's Maria Martins from Portugal, Verena Eberhardt from Austria and Renata Sultanova from Kazakhstan. So it's uh, Verena Eberhardt. And it's all about sprint between Renata Sultanova and Maria Martins in this Omnium elimination race. Sultanova goes wide and it's Martins the one who's going to take it. So now Maria Martins uh, leads the Omnium with uh, 114 points. So we are ready to start. We can see Verena Eberhardt currently standing on the second place. So when the race starts right now, so here we go. So here we go. It's Egyptian Aptisam Zayed Ahmed on the first position and Lithuanian Olivia Balisaita is close. Oh, what a horrific crash. It's Balisaita, the one who takes this intermediate sprint. So it's now 120 for the leader for Portuguese Maria Martins. So Eberhard tries her to attack here. She wants somebody to accompany her. She doesn't want to go alone. So now it's time for the final sprint. So it's Belisaita who takes 10 points in the last intermediate. Salawiva takes six. I can confirm that Maria Martins from Portugal is the winner of women's omnium in this stage two of Trek Cycling Nations Cup in St. Petersburg.